Welcome to this special edition of Impact with AI. I'm here in Doha, Qatar at the Qatar Economic Forum 2025. Excited for the conversations happening here, but even more excited to connect with an entrepreneur that's using AI and machine learning technology to drive a positive impact. I'm here with the CEO of Coolbox. Um, thanks so much for joining us. How are you and Coolbox making an impact? Yo, thank you very much. Um, and thanks for giving the opportunity to have a conversation with you. I often tell people, which sometimes is shocking to them, that you have over 600 million people in sub-Saharan Africa that lack access to electricity. Wow. And therefore lack access to refrigeration. Wow. Now, um, if you notice, there's been so much about let's light up Africa, let's yeah. light up the world. But very few times you hear people talk about let's refrigerate the world. Yeah. And unfortunately, you have about 40% of food that is wasted. Mm -hmm. And even the three out of every 10 children die due to lack of vaccination and due to lack of refrigeration. Wow. And that's a big problem Coolbox is trying to solve. Yeah. So, uh, and also what you would observe is as compared to 100% um, penetration of refrigeration in Europe and America, mm -hmm. in Sub-Saharan Africa, that number is only 17%. Wow. That means 17% of the people only have access to refrigeration. Wow. And that's what... So only 17% of people in Sub-Saharan Africa have access to refrigeration. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Out of every 100, you have only 17 people. These are things we take, people take for granted. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. yeah. You always have me home as a refrigerator. But unfortunately, down in Sub-Saharan Africa, it's not the same. And that's a big problem Coolbox is trying to solve. So what we've done is we um, created a solution Mm -hmm. that is able to use natural resources, which is sun and water, mm -hmm. to generate refrigeration. Mm -hmm. And um, as opposed to storing energy in batteries, we decided to store energy in the form of ice. Wow. Making it cheaper, mm -hmm. making it affordable mm -hmm. for uh, the peculiar nature of the people we share. Mm -hmm. And of course, the big question then comes in, we have this beautiful technology, it's amazing, it's great, but the question is, of what good is this technology if no one can afford it? Yeah. So who works when they're step further? to integrate in every unit a pay-as-you-go technology. Wow. And they bring individuals, small businesses, to be able to pay as it was $10 to actually own a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So today, thanks to Coolbox, for the first time ever, you can actually have people owning refrigerators, owning freezers to run their businesses mm -hmm. without spending so much on fossil fuel mm -hmm. and being able to pay as it was $10 monthly to be able to have refrigeration, saving food, across the regions. So, um, and today we've actually deployed close to 8,000 units of those. 8,000 units. Yeah, in, all, in, only three, uh, in only three years. And I'm proud to say um, um, we're one, if not the only ones that have such huge number of installations with informal retailers mm -hmm. across Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about your mom and pop store. I'm talking about the frozen food store next door. I mean, those are the kind of people we serve. They form about 90% of our businesses. And we're currently in 25 countries globally mm -hmm. as well. You're making an incredible impact and you getting these 8,000 units so far. I know it'll be many more in the coming years. Um, you being able to preserve um, vaccines, pharmaceuticals, and of course, being able to preserve food, cutting down on food waste. There are so many United Nations Sustainable Development Goals um, that are being touched by the work that you're doing. So how do you view the Sustainable Development Goals and, and how do you see your business as supporting them? Because I see um, SDG you know, 12, responsible consumption and, and, and production, SDG 13, climate action, because you're able to do this without using additional power. Um, there's so many that's there, but, but, but how do you see it? Oh, your number of stakeholders are quite impressed at the number of touch points we touch mm -hmm. in terms of the SDGs. Mm -hmm. Now, you find out in our, um, uh, in our business model that about 80% of our customers are actually women as women empowerment, inequality. Um, um, Secondly, in terms of climate action, as compared to um, using fossil fuels to run generators, uh, to mm -hmm. run refrigerators, we're actually using the sun and water. Mm -hmm. So we're just facing the climate action. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in terms of food wastage as well, um, not contributing waste to the environment, we're actually saving in terms of that as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you look at economic development, economic empowerment as well, mm -hmm. we also play a very big impact in that. So when you look at all those uh, verticals, you find that Coolbox plays an active role naturally, not like we're forcing it, but it just happens that the business we have 
seem to fit into all these goals. Yeah, basically. it makes a lot of sense. And we need practical solutions that are driving forward the kind of change that, that, that we want to see in terms of reaching those goals by 2030. Okay, so we've talked about your business. We've talked about the goals a little bit. Now let's dive into AI. I know your platform leverages a number of technologies, but this is Impact with AI. How are you using AI to move your business forward? Thank you. Uh, and that's a very exciting question. Anytime I hear that, I'm always excited because mm -hmm. the truth currently is um, we consider ourselves to be obsolete if we're not able to use tech for good. Yeah. And uh, AI has proven over time that if we take the positive aspect of AI, we're going to actually multiply that and be able to save the world, particularly emerging markets, mm -hmm. in a smart way. Yeah. Uh, so what we're doing with AI today is in three phases, but yep. I'll start with the most important one, which is actually connecting customers. Uh, today, we have a platform of, like I said, over 8,000 people, mm -hmm. um, 8,000 small businesses, rather. And um, amongst these businesses, you have one single unit or one single thing that connects all these phases, so mm -hmm. that connects all these, all these customers. And what is that? There's the freezer. Mm -hmm. Now, You'll find out that in the complete chain, you have the fish farmer mm -hmm. who would need to store the fish with a refrigerator. In this chain, you have the frozen food seller mm -hmm. who actually needs to stock to sell as well, but typically would buy from a fish farmer mm -hmm. or buy from a middleman. And then you'd have even the consumers themselves who would have to stock the mm -hmm. fish they bought in the refrigerator to avoid it being spot. Mm -hmm. So when we looked at that entire value chain, we found that there's one thing that was common actually amongst them, and it's mm -hmm. the refrigerator or the freezer, mm -hmm. storing food. We thought if we could actually improve how people store yeah. and understand how people store, we would be able to connect these people to ensure we reduce wastage on the value chain. Uh -huh. Today with a refrigerator with IoT, we are able to tell you the temperature in a refrigerator. Uh -huh. We're able to tell you the location of every refrigerator. Uh -huh. We're also able to tell you even the average income of that customer because of the pay oh, actually wow. embedded on the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So with all those data points, we thought if we have all this data from over uh, 8,000 customers, and then we have data of the different people across the value chain, why are we not able to connect them for good? Yeah. And thanks to AI matchmaking platform that we have mm -hmm. currently, we're matchmaking the frozen food seller, mm -hmm. obviously, with the uh, fish farmer or the uh, livestock farmer mm -hmm. who wants to sell his produce, eliminating the middleman, optimizing the cost, and helping them to sell more and sell better. Mm -hmm. So firstly, we're having a platform which is AI-driven mm -hmm. matchmaking to ensure that we're able to optimize supply chain mm -hmm. and optimize costs for our customers. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing we're doing with AI. Secondly, uh, in terms of customer service, most of our customers today are from the informal trade mm -hmm. and um, they need to be digitalized while yeah. we are the order. And you find out that out of all these customers, only 4% of them don't have smartphones. Mm -hmm. And what we figured out that Thanks to AI now, we're able to manage them um, um, simultaneously at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because what happens right now is you have multiple customers calling us at the same time, but with AI and the customer service, mm -hmm. we're able to have uh, 10,000 agents, uh, 10,000 customers at the same time messaging, and we're not having any problem replying to them. Mm -hmm. That's a sex. So you're not replying to 10,000 messages from customers? From customers. Awesome. Basically, yeah. it, 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 the system does that first. Mm -hmm. And of course, lastly, credit scoring. Yeah. Um, most of our customers, again, they're from the informal trade. Yeah. Credit scoring is, um, I mean, there's, it doesn't exist. Right. right? So uh, the only way we can do that is use AI, use uh, personal information, uh, certain information that we have from them to be able to predict whether or not to be mm -hmm. going. And AI has been very useful in doing that. Basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great, man. So I think anytime you have large amounts of data, mm -hmm. being able to take it and put it into AI, you can always learn things and uh, potentially Fantastic. multiply Fantastic. the value of not only the data that you have, but multiply the value of the service Correct. that you're providing exactly. to, to your customers, exactly. to customer service, of course, exactly. being able to do that more efficiently and more effectively. Uh, and three, from a financial um, management standpoint, being able to find more and better ways to qualify customers exactly. uh, and figuring out how do I build a solution exactly. that meets your customers where they are, exactly. that uh, using AI to do those things, that's exactly. really incredible, man. So 
to close us out here, because uh, this is a short edition for us, um, how can people connect to you and the great work that you're doing? If they wanted to buy a cool box themselves, how can they do that? Uh, where can they contact you? Yeah, I mean, to contact us, uh, cool, um, www.coolbox.com. Um, very easy to access. You can always get it on, on, on the internet. And of course, you put in, to see the beautiful what we're doing, just uh, go on YouTube and then put in cool box to search. You definitely see everything we're doing on Coolbox. The Coolbox is spelled in a different way. It's K-O-O-L-B-O-K-S. I repeat, K-O-O-L-B-O-K-S. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm going to go to the website myself. Incredible, incredible work that you and your team are doing. Thanks so much for joining us for this special edition of Impact with AI here at the Qatar Economic Forum in Doha, Qatar. I'm Brandon Andrews, your host. If you want to see more of these conversations, visit impacti.media. And of course, follow us and like us on YouTube so you can be the first to see our new content when it comes out. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, man.